For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to Apple's Outdoors with me, Mike. Some of you give you a bit of a review video on a kind of a new product from Vango. So what we're looking at here is any addition you can add to some of the Vango and Atara collection. So here we've got the option of additional studios that can be zipped on to the Anatara itself. So I thought I'd give it its own little separate video just to kind of give you a bit more familiarization with it uh, and talk through a few more features just purely on the extensions itself. So first thing's really worth to addressing that it will only fit the Anatara 4 models, be it the polyester or the polycotton, it's only designed for that. So the reason being is actually none of the previous Anatara tents or any of say like the Ventanas for example, have a zip located on the side of it. So there's a new zip on the new model which allows you to physically zip these connections on and it's a much more thorough connection or way of doing it. With itself you've got a choice between choosing two sizes. You either go down for the large studio which I have here which is a double bay or they've got the small studio which is more like the Tahiti kind of side pod off it. So purely more meant for sleeping whereas the large one's more say for living with the option of sleeping as well. We will cut to the small version of it a bit later to give you a bit more familiarization with it before we'll start with the biggest model in the range. You've got an aluminium pole in both of them to give a bit nice stability and then you've got storm straps which obviously get great tension into it itself. The large studio zips on in two positions so you've got the first door and then the second door itself. It's only accessible, sorry, first window and second door. It's only accessible really from that second door and we'll have a look on that in a second on the inside. You've got a panel that's obviously a door section in here which can open up or down so you want to completely seal it. You've got a sewn in ground sheet built into it as well so it really feels a part of the tent but secured part as well and like I said you can have it in whatever manner you wish. We've got lots of PVC windows built into it on both sides as well as kind of the uh, main bit here as well to help plenty of light to come into it. Low level ventilation to help circulate the air and help reduce condensation. It's made in a polyester material and the polyester versions are either the studio in small and large are designed to fit the TC version as well as the normal version. It's just the colour schemes are very similar. It's just they've not gone to the extent of making a polycotton version of the studios purely down to price for one, um, but more importantly, you know, any extensions you buy for the polycotton, the options tend to be polyester anyway, so it's not going to be too much out of the realms of it. We've got stromal straps uh, located down the bottom, which obviously colour coordinated to match the Anatara tent and that sort of two-tone kind of material, and that also again simulates what we have here. We'll have a pick the camera up now, have a little bit of look in saw inside the large studio and get a bit more familiar with it. But what we'll do is rather than going directly through kind of the door we see here, let's go through the main body of the Anatara. So when you kind of come in place, you can see it takes up two panels internally, and you've got window sections directly into both. You've got kind of a table and chair set which you can put in here, or if you wanted to put in a bedroom in here and sleep people inside of it, you could quite happily do so, and that way you're not kind of infringing on anything in a living area point of view. Height-wise is a bit kind of smaller, but you can happily sort of sit down in here and kind of sort of chill on a nice time away from the rain as well. And then you've got obviously the curtains on this side, so if you want to get privacy from the main living area, you can quite happily do that. And you've got zip curtains that are in here itself. So I think that works really quite now. And then again, a sewn in ground sheet all the way through. So it really feels part of the actual tent itself. As we kind of come out, you appreciate that door's open. There's no reason you couldn't, in theory, bring that door to make another canopy if you really wanted to, but you can see how well it really does fit against it. And you've got a baffle that kind of overhangs it a bit, so you, it covers that zip to try and deter water from sort of going through the zip itself, because typically water zips aren't necessarily waterproof. But in terms of it sort of span out, you can see obviously it's a good sort of size. Um, and as we kind of pin ourselves round, we'll also look at the small studio this is on the TC model, so you can see a little bit of difference in terms of the fabric, but it's more the practicality side of things I think works. As we see, it's only one bay, still got the kind of visibility guidelines that works really well, but it's, it suits and again, got an aluminium pole to sit through the sleeve. So this again, of course, is kind of the small studio. We've got it positioned here currently on the Anatara 450, but models are both interchangeable, so you can pick and choose which way you want it to go. 
This is definitely more kind of sleeping orientated. So it comes complete with its own bedroom as standard. Uh, and really it's a sort of two berth bedroom, nice and dark in, to match the bedrooms in the main section. It's got its own divider, um, sorry, its own sort of inner tent door. And also you've got then the actual tent door itself, if you wish to go for. But what you can also do is take the bedroom down if you wanted to and use it for a bit of storage section. The only thing to be obviously bear in mind with these kind of extensions is how much it kind of comes out from the tent. If we look at this in terms of the kind of the 450 design, obviously it pokes out the best part of nearly about 210, 220 uh, overall. So that also is worth just a note. But I think it's a really nice little concept. And all of these, of course, are uh, an optional extra for the Anatara. So you have always, of course, build that into the price itself, but offer something a little bit different. And something I think, to a many way, it kind of is not too dissimilar to something like, say, the Outdoor Rev Kalahari. It's a way you can get this tent in that manner, just but it's a more modular design. So it means the pack weight of the main body of the tent is a little bit less rather than having to do it in one big lump. So there's always that kind of trade off to a certain extent. It's worth mentioning that you can only add it to the left hand side. So it's only not the right hand side just because the zips are located on, on this point here. Um, so that's also, you know, it's not like you make it double potted because that would be mahusive <laughs> to say the least. Um, but all in all, really nice little concept, something a bit quirky, something a bit different. It's nice to see some, obviously some improvement in terms of what they're doing. Uh, and again, offers a bit more flexibility you know, and I think that's one thing it's, it's definitely does to be fair. And if you're gonna wait for a short period of time, you just do the main body, failing that, you do the additional studios, either your small or your large. So that and all, it's a bit more of a video view on the two studios available for the Anatara um, and the Anatara initially only. So for more questions, queries, feel free to check the link below. It has a link to all of our um, sort of pitching videos we have there, as well as things like our spec and tech on the studio options, sizes, floor plans, pack sizes, that sort of stuff. So that's always worth a look. But that's kind of our little video review in whole on the Van Gogh Studio, small and large.